Are you Trish? Yes, I am. Hi. Just seeing everything's being recorded. What's going on today? Devisha, mm -hmm. okay. Just becoming and getting my step She okay. has a tendency to show up with torn apart car seats, people without valid driver's licenses. Okay. So two weeks ago, she started having whoever was green, who was a Lyft company originally, um, just show me that they have a valid driver's license. <clears throat> well, I asked for a driver's license. Well, first, I wasn't coming outside until I found out that the Lyft company wasn't here because I got into... What Lyft a, company? It's the like a taxi okay. company, but right out here two weeks ago, he backed right into me and then left the scene, and that's an ongoing thing I put in a call to the corporal. He called must me a voice note by a missed call, and I'm just waiting for him to call back. He okay. did it like a hit and run or something Right. Uh, two weeks ago. So I wouldn't come out at first, and she left and came back. She said that her friend was going to drop her off, and she was just going to take the bus. Okay. So I come outside and she knocks on the door. She goes back down here. She's literally standing right here. I'm standing right here up against the door. I'm on the phone with my husband. I said, okay, well, what do you want me to do? Because she's going to take him in this car. She won't show me she has a car seat for him. She won't show me that whoever has a valid driver's license. And that's what they have been doing. So Who's they? She, my husband and her. So I've got no, a verbal like agreement. agreement that they have been doing it. I have. Is it verbal or in writing or well, through court or what? If they're going back to the Fulcrum building on the 10th to have it added to their court order. It's just verbal as of Okay. Written. So she comes up the stairs and gets in my face, showing me these text messages apparently between her and my husband. And I step back. At that point, I could get the door open. So I step back. And I said, I, you know, I need you to get out of my face. And so I got him in my ear, babe, don't just go in the house and I'll just deal with it at court on Monday. So then he tells me, well, if she's going to go and she's going to take the bus or she's just going to leave with him, that's fine. Go outside. So I come outside and ask her what she's doing. Are you going on the bus with him? What's your deal? So that he can go. He's so ready. She's he's got him at this point? No, she does not have him. He's in the house. Yeah. How old is the boy? He's six. Okay. She hasn't been around for the last five years. Okay. He was a year old when she gave him up to my husband. And so it just went to unsupervised visitation, and it's been nothing but problems then. Okay. So I'm standing on the phone with my husband, verifying the fact that she had sent the information to his phone, and she's talking to her friend that's parked out there at the street, kind of behind that tree, talking to her friend about how... She's going to have me thrown in jail before she leaves here so that she can just take him and then she, the court will give her custody because I go to jail. And I'm like, I'm not even his biological parent. I'm right. his stepmom, so it doesn't make any difference. She's here, sitting here yelling at me. You're never going to be around him. I'm going to put a restraining order from him against you. Like, I'm not any danger to him. Right. I have cared for him as his mother since he was a year old. Like, this child has a big part of my life. So I'm standing right here, up against the door, like kind of standing just like this. She comes up the stairs while I'm on the phone, all the way up the stairs, and she is in my face, like her nose touching my nose. Okay. And I said, Devisha, get out of my face. I'm still on the phone. So I say it five different times. At this point, she has me all the way backed up against the door. I can't get the door open. I can't nothing. And she's in my face making me bounce off of the door in my face. So with my open hand like this, I pushed her backwards, opened the door, and went in the house. So okay. when I pushed her backwards, she grabs me from around this side and around this side, and it's like hanging off of me, hitting me in the process. Like, you just need to get off of me at this point. Like, I'm trying to go in the house. I'm not trying to have issues with you anymore. Right. And in the process, scratches my back, hurts my shoulder. Okay. Did you, really, you know she called us, right? I I didn't know she that called us to report that you assaulted her by shoving her off the porch. Okay. That's what she said. Okay, I pushed her open-handedly out of my I'm, face. I'm just I telling you what she told me. I didn't. I, I wasn't didn't here, so I don't. I don't know what happened. So. I just, do you have any injuries? I do. I okay. actually have scratches on my face. Oh, my face. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple scratches. And that's from her? That's this back here. It's from her. 
Okay. And then I don't know if it's still red, but I had a red mark right there. Yeah, yeah. And then tell. like an arm mark from where she literally hung off of my shoulder. Okay. And I do have pictures of shortly after it happened. I had talked to dispatch and um, okay. had said that I was going to have my dad um, take pictures of what was sure. still red at that point. Were there any witnesses that <coughs> saw this happen? None. None? Okay. Just me and her and her friend was in the car. So, so I'm not really sure what, what, what are you, what do you want to see have happen? Well, one, I disagree with her getting in my face, pushing me against the door where I sure. have nowhere to go. But if nothing comes of this now, yeah. on Monday we're hoping to at least file okay. a restraining order, restraining right. her from this address, and her pick and drop off my stepson at the Fulcrum building. Okay. Like, it, this has gone on in front of him for too long. Well, that's and I to feel see. bad because I go in the house and I'm crying because I'm hurt and I have all these marks all over. And he looks at me and says, did Devisha do that? You know, what am I supposed to say? It's, it's putting me in a really rough sure. spot, especially with him. Right. And every single time she comes anywhere around me, she's always physical. She's always... She always has to be in my face, spitting on me, okay. something of the sort. Well, it sounds like you guys need a different procedure for child drop-off. Um, one thing I would maybe suggest is somewhere where you know there's cameras. Um, City Hall is always good. You know, gas stations are normally good. Walmart's good. they got a lot of video on the front of Walmart. Uh, you know, police stations, they've all got... All got uh, cameras and stuff. So it sounds like it sounds like you just want her to basically leave you alone. This is yeah. This is the second time that she's okay. put her hands on me. Um, she and it's like, like I, I said she. To explain to her, I was not trying to be physical with her at all. I stayed on my front porch. I stayed calm. I wasn't yelling at her. I wasn't freaking out. Sure. I wasn't nothing. <clears> and for her to come to my house. And pushing me up against my door with me having nowhere to go. Uh -huh. What what am I supposed to do? Like I I don't know, easy. and I wasn't here, so I can't I can't talk as to what you should have done. Um, I can tell you that you are allowed to defend yourself reasonably. Um, so you know if somebody's invading your your what you believe to be your personal space, and you feel that there's an imminent threat to you being harmed, you have a right to defend yourself. Um, I can't tell you what that could entail. That's up to you. It just it has to be. It just it's going to be judged as as uh, what's reasonable if it goes to court for whatever reason. Now, with what you told me, know that she's made a complaint as well, saying that you assaulted her, you shoved her off the porch, she was injured, blah blah blah. Um, it's so I'm going to have to go get her side of the story too. Um, and my guess is from my experience, that she's going to paint a very non-flattering picture of you. Okay. Um, just that's how it goes, the, the whole he said, yeah. she said thing. So um, the only saving grace between the two of you is that there's no domestic violence relationship. There's no DV relationship. You're not related by blood or marriage. You're not ever roommates, you know, none of that deal. So, so there's no mandatory arrest situation. Um, it sounds like you have a plan in action to rid her of your I life, which is like, good. As long as I have like a report number or something from you to give to them to file the restraining order. Right? So well, and you don't thing. need that. I mean, I know it helps, but you, you don't need a report yeah, necessarily. Order it's all about how you write your uh, affidavit. <laughs> but I can give you that. Baker 334, what's my case number? Copy. Okay, there you go. That's for this. Um, and like I said, she's going to call at 10, because apparently she's so worried that she's going to wait until 10 o'clock to call us um, to, to make her report. So I can't even go talk to her. She's not home. So... Anyway, uh, more than likely, what I foresee happening is this being a kind of a wash between the two of you. Um, I'm, I'm, she's already she's claiming an assault on you. You're claiming an assault on her. Without any independent eyewitnesses, it's really going to 
be but tough to the determine. Only thing, the only thing that I can think of is whoever was here with her, but even at that point... Would she be a witness on her half or yours? More than likely hers. I don't she know, brought her. the whole time that we were sitting there, while I was on the phone with my husband, who could hear what was being said, mm -hmm. she just kept saying that, um, well, first she told, I don't even know who the girl's name is, to be completely honest, um, she just kept telling the girl that she was going to call the cops and say that I threatened to, like, cut her face off and to beat her face in and something. Okay. And I'm like, that's not even valid. I have been on the phone the whole entire time that I was out here. Mm -hmm. I never said anything of the sort. I asked her several times to get out of my face. Okay. You know, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We've done this before. And it ended with her spitting on me and me pushing her to get away. The exact same exact way. And it was up at Sacred Heart, and so they even had video <laughs> yeah, for sure. and everything. And so it's just something that we've been trying to do the fulcrum building, and she disagrees with it. Well, unless there's a court order, we can't do it. There. Which it sounds like and you're doing now Monday. And it's at so. a point of well, where good. now if I've got something to go and put against her, whatever. Yeah, the parenting plan with. in writing from the courts is is a lot better. It, it gives you Well, we have her. a parenting plan in writing from the court. The only thing it doesn't say is was the transportation agreement. It just says mom's supposed to provide transportation. But where's drop-off and pick-up according to the agreement? I think it's here. Okay. With licensed and insurance um, person. Uh, uh, something so. you might be able to do, too, is get your own little video surveillance. I mean, it's very cheap. You yeah. can go, I mean, Costco, Walmart, they've got you know, a decent camera, especially if it's light out, it's going to catch, you know. Well, yeah, and the visits are from 2 to 4. So right. So it's light out both both times, picking up and dropping off. So we're hoping that it's not going to be here anymore. Okay. I mean, I got hit last time she was here. She canceled this last visit. So every visit that she's came to this house, she's caused conflict. Awesome. Well, it sounds and like you guys need to change something because that's not working. So. And I just, I mean, I felt bad for my husband who's, trying to rush out the door or go to work and then he's going to deal with this on top of everything. Right. And the fulcrum building is the, is the middle point. They're not going to be on one side or the other. I would, Somebody will drop him off a half hour before she even gets there. Right. So there won't even be any contact between us because that's when it all goes. Okay. Is when there's contact. Okay. Well, it sounds like you got a plan in action, so hopefully it works out for you. Alrighty. So, all right. Good luck.